Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Saturday, Saturn day, October 28th, and the energies in the day adds up and reduce to number nine vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So when it comes to the spirit animal, when it comes to the spirit animal, we are rocking with the scorpion energy. And with the scorpion showing up as a spirit animal and today being the full moon, a lunar eclipse energy. Ooh, this is bringing me to, the scorpion energy always brings me to being strategic, being also to preserving our energy in the sense that I think of the scorpion stinger and <laughs> so the other day um I was trying to get something done and I didn't like the interaction that I was having with the person and the a part of me felt like saying something slick where the younger me would have said something slick and sarcastic and but then the mature me said no try to understand Try to understand where they're coming from, opposed to taking it personal and then stinging. Because at the same time, like the mature me is like, once you sting, you're burning this bridge. And you might need to go back over the bridge in the sense that this person is responsible for certain things and you might need them to you know, go through them to get certain things done. And you just, you just don't need to, even without all that, like you just don't need to, to do that. Like, and instead, you know, because I felt like the person wasn't doing their job. And for me, it's like, I feel like if you don't like your job, just quit. Like, and some people would be like, but I need to pay my bills. But then it's not fair to the people that have to interact with you doing your job because you don't like your job. Like, if you don't like your job, just quit. Because it's like, if you don't like your job either, you know, it's probably bad for your health to be doing it. And, and I'm not telling anybody to quit their job and go sit down if they don't have anything to do, but like find something that you do enjoy because you deserve, you deserve it. Like you're worth, you know, doing something that you enjoy and getting paid to do what you enjoy and it's possible. But this person you know, was being, I felt difficult and didn't want to do their job. And I wanted to say something slick, like, like, I bet you're doing, like, I don't know. I wanted to say something slick and something said don't. With the scorpion energy, when it comes to say today, ener today, it's like, you know, be very careful when it comes to how you wheel your energy, conserve your energy. And instead of say stinging, where in that situation, instead of saying something slick and me clapping at that person, clapping back at the person because I felt like they were, they weren't trying to do their job, which, you know, I'm trying to get service here and they're making it seem like I'm begging them uh, for, for what I'm trying to get done. Instead, I tried to understand where this person, what this person might be going through, why they're acting like that. And yeah. And, and, and instead I was proud of myself that, um, the situation didn't have to get like, didn't have to get wild. Like instead it's like transmuting the energy in the situation, transforming the energy where it's like, instead of it being 
you know, maybe for whatever reason, like, you know, they're going through something and they welcome a fight at the moment. And then I play into that energy and give them the fight that they wanted because that's where they are. Instead, I stepped back and I didn't engage in that way. I, I didn't engage. And with the Scorpion energy, it's just bringing me to that. I think about, say, how this full moon lunar eclipse energy is happening today. And I think about how, say, within, I think, since October, maybe, or September, I'm not mistaking, maybe October. Since October, I think, the energies in the day started adding up to the number 11. And on the 30th, the energies in the day adds up to 11. And I feel like, you know, when it comes to a full moon or a new moon, we'll see effects of it like days leading up to it, days after. So when it comes to, say, this full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus and this being such a powerful energy and, you know, two days later, the day add up to number 11, I feel like, you know, a few days before this day and even a few days after, it's like we can see catalysts, we could see major shifts and things happening in our world. So it's like something might not happen on the day of the the full moon lunar eclipse, but like maybe a few days after, not on the day that the energies add up to number 11, but a few days after. And with the scorpion energy showing up as a spirit animal, it's just bringing me to like picking your battles wisely when it comes to certain things that will be coming up and happening around us in the sense like people will be sensitive and triggered by different things for different reason. And you have to take control of the situation and not play into the energy because with um, the situation that I had the other day, like, you know, I look at certain placements within my chart to understand, like, I know the certain placements within my chart have nothing to do with, um, doesn't control my behavior, but it, it, it helps me to, it, it reflects it. So, you know, I can be super sarcastic. Uh, yeah, I could be super sarcastic in certain situations. And I felt proud of myself because that wasn't a moment for sarcasm. Like clearly that person is going through something and yeah, they're going through something while they're behaving that way. And I'm not justifying their behavior, but at the same time, it wasn't necessary for me to join them in their, join them in whatever it is that they're going through. And, and, and do something negative, which is probably what they expect anyways, in the sense that imagine a person hates their job and feel like, you know, certain people come off entitled or blah, 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 whatever. So it's like they show up and they act a certain way. And then the person who's paying for the service or looking to get service feels offended by the way they're acting. And then they you know, say something or whatnot or do something. And then the person's like, see, they are entitled, not seeing how their behavior brought out that behavior in the other person so that they can have a, you know, they could, it's like whatever it is that we see in the world or believe, we will create situations where that could be confirmed in the sense that, you know, we'll have certain wounds and pains within us that controls why we see the world that the way we do, but we don't see how we're showing up and we'll show up in a certain way that triggers someone else's wound or whatnot. And, you know, us showing up in a certain way, you know, triggers something within them and whatever is within them is triggered and it triggers something back within us. And we're both going back and forth like C, 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 see how they are, see how they are, see how they are. And it's like, everybody is seeing how the other person is, but they're not seeing how they're showing up. So it's like, in that situation, I could see how that person was probably like, see how these people come off all entitled and this and this and this, but not seeing how they're showing up and having an attitude and coming off like you, you're begging, you got to beg them or, you know, lick their behind for them to get up and do their job or whatever. And, you know, it's, it's just interesting as people. And I feel like that's relevant in some way when it comes to this full moon lunar eclipse energy in the day in the sense like our stubbornness and everybody want to be the one to teach a lesson. 
and not realizing it whether a person is teaching a lesson in a cancer scorpio type way which is very indirect and and or capricorn can capricorn cancer scorpio type way which is very indirect not in your face and you know almost like gaslighting to a certain extent or they're teaching a lesson where they are in your face like aries energy leo energy uh sagittarius energy and they're like bringing it to your front door and saying you should have never did this this and that like to me i just feel like a power struggle and being the bigger person doesn't mean that you take the l being the bigger person is instead of getting offended try to understand why instead of getting offended try to understand why and it was yesterday when i had the encounter and instead of getting offended i asked why and didn't be you know save myself from being childish and engage in just an unnecessary situation because even though i'm an adult i could be childish too at times so yeah like that was an interesting thing to learn today is the 28th two plus eight is ten the number uh the number one like the number eight to me are energies that deals with like taking control being in charge and the number nine, the energy adds up to the number nine. So with the energy in the day adding up to the number nine, the number nine will bring me to like not being obvious about wanting to be in control, not being obvious about wanting to dominate. So this is where we could feel like, you know, we could feel a vibe between someone or they say something or whatnot. And it's like you're questioning if you're experiencing what you think you're experiencing because it's like, it could be read either way. And it's like, instead of taking it personal, just try to understand, just, just try to understand. So that's the thing for today. Instead of taking anything personal, just try to understand. Ooh, I love this. I love the magician energy with the scorpion energy and the magician energy with the scorpion energy together. The story that that's telling me goes back to this full moon lunar eclipse and what I was mentioning about the energies in the day adding up to the number 11 and it reflecting a very fertile season where anything can happen. The magician energy and the scorpion energy brings me to say like when chaos happened, like transformative energy and how we could use chaos and unfortunate situations to transform our lives transform our situations. To me, those energies are like a glitch in the matrix. So with the magician energy and the scorpion energy showing up, you know, it brings me to say us utilizing all our resources and making magic. So for me, with my situation that I had yesterday, instead of making it ugly, instead, I turned it around. Because when I made myself more curious about the person and their situation and what they're going through, like I didn't pity them. I didn't feel sorry for them. I didn't justify their behavior, but I was curious instead of taking it personal. And then I responded in a way and then it ended very positively. But it's like the old me would have felt like it's not my responsibility to, to, to pretty much uh, make this person feel better. Like they need to do their job. Because I guess if I was in their shoes, I would have done my job, but that's just me. Because in my mind, it's like, okay, this is what I'm paid to do, and I just need to show up and do it. But at the same time, like, people go through things. Uh, people go through things, and sometimes you don't know what people are going through, and sometimes people are going through things and don't know they're going through things. So to me, yesterday was a day where it's like I tapped into this magician Scorpio, Scorpion energy, and instead of you know, instead of stinging back and it turning into a sting fest and me not getting what I want, instead, I try to understand. I try to understand and approach things with caution and understanding. So that's something that's standing out for me today. And I feel like that stands out for even the next few days to come. Approach things with caution and understanding. Caution and understanding. Try to understand and be cautious is what I'm getting. Try to understand and be cautious. Because when I think of the Scorpion energy, you know, I think of also to uh, just, it's like people being so sensitive and sometimes stinging and not meaning to. I think about the number 11 energy, like a mind feel where it's like you could stand in the wrong space and 
you know, something happens and it's like, damn, this is so unfortunate, or maybe stand in the right space and something great happened. When it comes to these energies that's happening to me, it goes, it comes down to being very intentional, being very intentional and clear and also controlling your energy, like the magician, making sure your energy is in the space where it will attract you more of what you want. Because I think about how our energy is like a magnet and it's always pulling things to it, things that we can't always see it's pulling until we're experiencing some kind of an interaction or a back and forth or whatever, but our energy is always pulling. And since our energy is always pulling, it's very important for us to be conscious and always do a temperature check on how we're feeling because our feeling will give us a readout on our energy. How we're feeling will give us a readout on our energy. When we allow ourselves to be numb and not feel what it is that we need to feel, then chaos could be happening within us and we're attracting all kind of people and situations and we don't know why we're attracting them. And sometimes where you know our energy could be a little bit off and we don't know it and we attract certain people and certain situations and it's like, yeah, you attract this person, this situation, it's a reflect, it could be some kind of a reflection in some way and also an opportunity for you to, to transmute that energy by being cautious and curious, wanting to understand, but then taking your time, like being patient, but curious and not taking anything personal. So that's what's standing out to me more than anything when it comes to the energies in this day. Saturn is the ruler of the day. Saturn is in Pisces. When I think of Saturn energy, like how the moon is in Taurus, Saturn and Taurus energy to me are energies that deals with control, control and power struggles. If the other person don't want to be controlled. So whenever there's control and, and, and someone is rejecting that control, there will be some kind of a power struggle. With the energies in the day adding up and reducing to the number nine, the number nine brings me more of like a finessing where it's like, you know, someone trying to control a situation but not making it known they're trying to control a situation. Or the number nine energy today can talk about some kind of an ending, especially with the day being a full moon lunar eclipse something is definitely wrapping up coming to an end completely or evolving to the next level like the scorpion energy something is evolving something is transforming something old is going and something new is coming in and to me you know like a circle when the ending is the beginning there's always a reason to celebrate always something to look forward to such a pleasure sharing this message with you. If you'd like to book a natal chart awareness coaching session with me or check out my exclusive weekly content and other stuff that's happening exclusively to Patreon, the link to book a session with me or check out Patreon or both in the description box below. But before you go anywhere, please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a brown heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.